Hello, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Left 100% Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And we just finished um, one of our Probably asset missions, the Bar Brawl, and Lance is calling us. <sighs> Lance has this big problem with us now. But then in, in the mission we're about to do, he's all chummy. So, let's just noob boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me any time. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? That's just a pretty good promise, easy. man. I mean, this is you know, I, I would trust Tommy not to, you know. Trust me. You, you know, me? he says he's not going to rip us off or stab us in the back. Good deal. I hear you, Tommy. But anyway, I mean, neither of these guys, Lance or Tommy, is a guy that you'd want to like like share this. an apartment with. No, I mean, they're both kind of dirt. Do you hear me? This is where they really start to fall out, though, I guess, I mean, as far as plot line goes. So, so all right, so um, we're going to start the, the Copland mission. And actually, I have, there's a lot of alternate strategy for this. You don't want to play this mission the way the game wants you to play it. So, what we're going to do is, first off, get a good car ready. A car that you can run from the cops in. Because you're going to get a 5-star wanted level halfway through this mission. So, do you realize what this the premise means? of this is that a guy forgot that was trying to blow up a building or a business in the mall. Like and Yeah, and, out the cops, but the problem, problem, and the cops found the bomb. Like, the fuse was bad and something. It didn't torch, so. So, yeah. So, what we have to do is, Tommy has this this brainstorm that he's gonna we're going to go in there as cops. And what they want you to do is, is, is get cop uniforms and, and a cop car, and like, kind of, it seems like you'd have to sneak in there, but you don't. You have to get cop uniforms, but you don't have to take a cop car. Don't drive a cop car. Because you want to use the paint and spray. It's the easiest way to do this mission. So, take a car you're comfortable with. You could take the bulletproof admiral for this, it would work really well. Uh, I've got a turbo saber already for this. We're going to do that. Because I like the turbo saber. I'm, I'm good with it, I've, I've driven it a lot, and... It'll work. So, like I said, okay, so thanks. it'll tell you to get in, and you got to fit another person in your car. So, I mean, well, I mean, every car fits two people, except, you know, and you'd never want to take a bike on this or something. So, so yeah, so get in your vehicle, and uh, Lance will get in with you. And you need Lance to get the cop uniform and stuff, but after we blow up the store in the mall, you don't really need him anymore, except when you come back. So, we'll talk about that when we get to it, but... Anyway, what we need to do now is there's a lockup, and it's like a big garage. And we have to go there and get a wanted level, and get two cops to follow us into the garage. The easiest way to do that is with a two-star wanted level. So, preferably, go there and start shooting the rocket launcher or throwing grenades or something, and then kill the first cop you see and get a two-star wanted level. And then the next two will follow you in. It's harder with a one-star wanted level, because then it's usually like the walking cops will chase you around. And it's easy to get one cop, but you need to get two cops in this garage with you and Lance at the same time. That can be a little tricky. It's not the hardest part of the mission, but it's definitely inconvenient. So, yeah, and, and this lockup, you don't you won't see it anymore. I mean, it's not like... It's a very peripheral part of the game. You'll never have to use it again. It's, it's a very strange thing to have kind of just around that, you know, you don't really know anything about or... So, so yeah, it's over here. So stop your car, and there's actually, sometimes, I don't know if it's all the time, but there's a cop car parked right alongside of it, I guess for your convenience. Now that got them really but, okay, so we shot a cop. Fantastic. So, now we'll run in here, and two cops should follow us in, and we should be in good shape. Okay, well, okay, if they park their car there, then the door can't close, and you'll have to clear the car. So, just get out of there and try it again. Like, cops will, I mean, cops will spawn. It's two stars, so we'll get, you know, there should be cops. Um, not yet. Oh, look, well, there they went. Oh, come on. All right, and then it triggers right away. The minute there are two cops in there with you and Lance and the door can shut, it'll shut. <clears throat> and then I love this joke because Lance is so kind of slow on the uptake where he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, mine's tight in the crotch, too. So, anyway, so now you're dressed as cops and just get in your car. Don't don't look for a cop car. Don't take a cop car. You can if you want, I suppose, but it's gonna make this infinitely harder for you. 
So, and so then the premise is you go to this mall and there's this store where this guy set this bomb and you go and you reset the bomb and it'll blow up and you'll get a five star wanted level and then you'll have to run back for, for setting the state. No cop drives this bad. So make sure that you park in like a run position at the mall. It's going to help. I mean, those few seconds are going to help. So we're actually going to back in here. Because we want to be paced now. We want to be on the road. So simple stuff like this. You know, that's the, that, it's the little details that make the game a lot easier to play. So yes, yeah, so you run in. Smile at the other cop. And, hey, you know, there's nice bag. Nothing that's going to happen here. It's just... Real smooth, Lance. There's stupid little dialogue. And, yeah, you run in here, and he'll say... Okay, timers are set. Yeah, it's set five for five seconds. seconds. It's five not five seconds. seconds. It's just whenever you get over here. And then instantaneously, you get this crazy wanted level. I think maybe the highest mission-generated wanted level in the game. I don't think you ever get a six-star wanted level on a, on a mission. So... All right, so get in and just go. You don't have to pick up Lance. It, it'll tell you to pick up Lance. It'll tell you not to leave Lance. But you don't have to. You don't have to have Lance. You're gonna have to complete the mission, but you don't need him right now. What you need right now is to get rid of your wanted level. So, and and the the reason you you don't want to take Lance is because if they manage to destroy your vehicle, it could kill Lance. Or if you have to get out of your vehicle and they run Lance over, you, you, the mission ends. But if you just leave him there, nothing will happen to him. It's just Decent strategy. So get to this paint and spray here. Because obviously this is the only paint and spray that makes sense. And we're going to paint and spray. And then we're going to sit here until our wanted level goes away. Because I'm not going to risk backing into some squad car and getting our wanted level back. That's just, you know, there's there's no reason for it. So we'll sit here and you can pretend like Tommy's sitting in there and, I don't know, lighting a J or, I don't know, bopping his head to the music or something. Because he could be doing anything, who knows? He's killing time somehow. And then as soon as our okay, our wanted level's gone, so now we'll go back and get Lance. And we can take all the time in the world. There's no reason to hurry this. Just, you know, make sure you get it. And that's about as easy as you can make the mission, I think. I don't, I don't see making this mission any easier. So, I mean, it's still not by any stretch. It's still a mission you can mess up. But this definitely helps, doing this stuff, so... So yeah, well, we hit a cop and you can get a wanted level. That's awesome. All right, and Lance will be up here. Try not to run him over because that's about the only way you could fail this mission at this point. And then you just got to drive back to your mansion. That's it. Like I said, you couldn't really make it any easier on yourself. So it's just that little run you got to do. Otherwise, the best strategy, if you take a cop car, the best strategy is to try to get down to the paint and spray and then pull somebody out of a car, but there's a good possibility there won't be anybody in cars. That it'll be all law enforcement vehicles. There's also a really good chance that you'll get yanked out of a car and busted. And all those things, are those are unacceptable. Like, those are, you know, instant mission fails. And... So, you know, we try not to do that stuff. But... So yeah, so okay, this is a little bit of my 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 rage coming out here. I'll shoot a couple bullets into him, and obviously we're not chasing him down because I'm not risking blowing this. We've done a lot of work on this mission already, so we can get ourselves back home, and then we'll be out of the woods. It's good stuff. It's a good mission to have out of the way, and this I think should complete our asset, so we'll uh, we'll be in great shape. Then we won't have to worry about our mansion anymore. Because I don't think that there are any other... Well, there might be one. The last mission might take place there. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, well, I know what the last mission is, but I don't know where it starts. Particularly. So, alright, we're back. And that is essentially the end of what we're doing here. And then what will happen is... The mission will complete, and our asset will complete. And from now on, the police uh, uniform is available at the place where we got package 15 the south beach police station and we'll um so then now we can walk on the army base and get any of those vehicles if we want them so it's pretty cool and our mansion will generate five thousand dollars
All right, sorry I had some audio problems, so I had to mute this part of the video, but we're going to take a phone call, and uh, I'm going to attempt to read it. All right. Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got time to talk. I'm better at this than Lance's. I ain't interested in what you got to say. What, why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? It's kind of harsh. You gotta look after me a bit better. Give me a fair slice, you know? I don't know. Like, I, th I think we're taking care of it. Tommy, uh, look, man, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life. Man, don't do that. My brother would do that. Peace, man. Please, man, don't do that. I gotta go. And then he hangs up. So anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you for the next video. Hopefully we won't have as many problems next time.